I can't make sense of it. What do Athelia and her Shardborn seek to gain here? Why assist the recollection and allow them to use Wildburn seeds to trans... What are we missing, friend? That might better be pondered by Laramil, but you're probably onto something. Both the Recollection and the Shardborn serve the Prince of Paths. Their goals must complement each other somehow. Which brings up another question. Where's Athelia? Memory of Athelia heading towards the Outcast Inn. The Outcast Inn? I know the place. It helps explain some of the markings on this encoded map. So, not only did we stop Nantharian from sending a Wildburn seed to Skingrad, we found a lead to Athelia's whereabouts. And that's not all. We expose Nantharian as leader of the Recollection. When Varshabar hears about this, they'll tear the crown from his head. He can lead the Recollection, but he can't hide anymore. And we save Skingrad from a Wildburn. Here, friend. You earn this. Bow. Pact Keepers forever. So this, this was the bleeding bleed set. The map we found at Hope Root contains a valuable clue. I just know it. Give me some time and I'll decipher the code and figure it out. One thing is already clear. King Nantharian and his allies aren't done with Westreald yet. I won't know for sure until I finish deciphering Nantharian's notes. But Athelia is still at large. The Daedric incursions haven't stopped, and recollection forces are thick as Horvors on carrion around alien ruins. Something. The map we found at. I won't know for sure until I finish deciphering Nantharian's notes, but Athelia is. When I think of aliens, I think of magic. Welkin stones, portals, ancient relics. Things that would be dangerous in the wrong hands. But how it fits into Nantharian's plans, I don't know. Think you could help me piece it together, friend? Laramil can use your help. She wants you to assist her in investigating the Outcast Inn. Help her out, then check in again. Well, in addition to the memory you saw of Athelia heading toward the inn, Laramil says there are tangled threads of fate converging in that area. Whatever's going on there, you need to help Laramil figure it out. The tangled threads of fate I sense around the Outcast Inn fill me with dread. Something dangerous and momentous is happening. I will meet you there, Proxy. Okay, so once again, Outcast Inn. So it is, it's this area which we didn't actually explore that much. Okay, this used to be a beautiful fishing place. Not anymore. What's the Faun? Evil Fauns. What are Fauns doing here? I thought they were in um, High Isle. I knew it, they were Daedra. More dire than I suspected. Uh, what is that? I am glad you are here, Proxy. 
threads of fate tangle around the outcast inn in an ever-expanding knot, fraying the bonds of cause and effect with each bend and twist. Should they snap, the results would be catastrophic. I cannot discern its origin. Hermaeus Mora gifted me an ability to perceive the threads of fate. This tangle painfully overwhelms that very gift whenever I try to approach the inn. Someone without such sight must act as my agent. Namely you. Pass through this tangle and enter the inn. Find the source of this disturbance. Stop it however you can. I cannot assist you in this. You shall stand alone against a force that tangles fate and unravels reality. Again. <laughs> Succeed and you shall be rewarded. If we allow the tangle in fate to persist, our localized reality could collapse. In short, we would all cease to exist. Okay, that's Enter not good. Enter the inn while I research this phenomenon. And hurry, Proxy. Even at this distance, the disturbance causes me great pain. I sensed the disturbance as I conducted my own investigation. She says a disturbance when in I the force. When I heard you had also seen a memory of Athelia associated with this place, I knew we had to learn more. Unfortunately, my ability to sense the disturbance also holds me at bay. As I understand it, the Outcast Inn was an unremarkable establishment prior to this. In Skingrad, I learned that a new owner purchased it recently and had started to make repairs. I know little else. Perhaps anyone you find inside can tell you more. Cause and effect shape our entire reality. Even Magicka has a known source. Mundus exists as a cascading series of actions and outcomes, though sometimes we cannot perceive either. The event within this tangle of fates decouples the two. Imagine swinging a blade, but it refuses to slice through the air. Or a gua suddenly appearing overhead and falling on a person. Ouch. Or worse. A town erupting into flames without a single spark being struck. Life would become untenable. Go where I cannot, Proxy. Until... Okay, that... that looks slightly, slightly funny. Schrodinger's customer. What can I get you? Uh, yes, uh, please come in. Stay for a while. Just pay no mind to the crack in the sky outside or those uh, shadows. <laughs> ignore them and have a drink. Yeah. All right, I can't ignore them either. It all started when the woman at the table by the fire came in. I don't know her from a skeever's ass, and I don't care what her name is. But she's absolutely the cause of my problems. Right after she arrived, the sky changed, and those shadows started roaming my inn. Then, she sat by the fire without a word. Not a one. But a good innkeep can guess what a customer needs. And she needs a drink. Something to wake her up. A Skyrim sunrise. I can't leave my patrons with these shadows, though. Could you go to the well and fetch some water? You'll drink free. The well's out back in the courtyard. Bring me a bucket of water, and I'll mix up a Skyrim sunrise. That should get her talking. Then I can ask her to move along and take this strangeness with her. She's scaring my customers. Bought the place almost a year ago. It's old Colovian. Late first era, I'm told. Probably the older. The Raymond III slept here, but I don't see how she'd know that. <sighs> I had big dreams for this place. Don't know if they'll work out now. I wanted to turn this establishment into a high-end place known for its most unusual drinks. All for a reasonable cost for the common traveler. I concoct my own recipes from scratch, you know. Everyone deserves a drink made with skill and care.
Almost every innkeeper apprenticeship I ever had kicked <laughs> me out. They said yeah, my good, drink good, good, ideas were too complicated. Really hurt at the time. When I could afford to buy my own place, I named it after how I felt back then. <laughs> Showed them, didn't I? Yeah, I don't think there this was in uh Yeah, this wasn't in a fo obli oblivion. Let's go for what? Always making drinks is like alchemy, and I like taking care of strangers. I finally found someone who believed in me, Millie. She suggested I buy this place and provided some of the funds. I need to keep this place open, honor her belief in me. All good innkeepers know when to leave someone alone and when to chat them up. If not for these shadows floating around, I'd let the woman have her privacy by the fire. Also, uh, there's something about her that frightens me. Can't think of a better word. They're not people, just sort of disturbingly people-shaped. I think they want to speak, but they don't make a sound. They arrived, and the sky cracked exactly when the woman by the fire stepped through the door. I, I didn't see the crack at first. The light through the window went dark, which was eerie enough. When I poked my head out to look at the sky, there it was. <sighs> it might be my imagination, but every time I look up, I swear those cracks get bigger. Okay. Not good. Okay, th so that's a shorting as customer water in this place. Who's next? So this is kind of ancient place. Taver Tavern keeper said that. It was from the first era, but probably older. Seventy-nine. Open tabs from the last year. Seventy nine, but that's that's like uh, four years ago. Mortal, help me, please. Okay, now she woke up. I don't know if you can understand me. My mind is a storm of images and voices and memories. I can see every reality all at once, the many paths, but my grip. On this realm keeps slipping. But you. I see that you are real. We did, didn't we? Then you know my name is Ethelia. I am what mortals call um, a, a, a Daedric prince. These echoes. I summoned them by accident. I, I am losing control. The end. It drew me here, called to me. I need something it can provide. Possibilities, probabilities, places where fate takes a different course. Some lead to here, others to there. And a few they lead to elsewhere. But this place, D different it has Kalpa. something I need. So, so this is interesting because Vivek actually in his le 35 lessons spe speaks about this kind of things that this is actually a multiverse a phrase emerges from the storm sage's dream yes 
That's it. A, a, a drink, I think. It tastes of belonging. Cohesion. The innkeeper, ask him to make this drink for me. Quickly, before the storm takes me again. I remember so little about myself. Why is that? It's... Yes. Mora heeded this. But Sage's dream. I know it can help me even as the details slip away. Please, ask the innkeeper. I feel certain he knows something. Echoes from other realities. My power drew them here, trapped them between this path and their own. They are confused, suffering. Until I gain control of myself, I cannot set them free. I wish to know more myself. But the storm fills my mind. The knowledge of the many paths comes to me in bursts as intuitions. They are possibilities not yet realized. Realities close and distant. If I can calm my mind, maybe I'll understand. I am Athelia, the Daedric Prince of Paths, the mistress of the untraveled road. I am... confused. Sometimes an event surges into memory. Fear, anger, and resignation erupt all at once. And then I lose my grasp and forget again. Remembering is a struggle. I cannot extract details from the chaos of converging realities. There is darkness. Then I saw a light in the distance. The light became this inn. It summoned me, but the reason was unclear. Until I recalled Sage's dream. Okay, she, she needs a drink. Well, at least she's finally talking. That's better than I ever managed. I hope you told her to get out of here. My remaining customers are starting to talk about settling their bill and finding some place less strange. I knew she wanted a drink. But Sage's dream? Never heard of it. And I've memorized every recipe in every edition of the Innkeeper's Helper. The previous owner left junk all over the courtyard. I've been sorting through it and noticed a book on obscure and ancient drinks. Maybe it contains a recipe for Sage's dream. Go back there and find that book. Gilredor's Book of Obscure and Ancient Spirits. That's the book's name. Uh, Search around the courtyard behind the inn. That's... Uh, also, try the outbuilding in the far back. I found junk in there, too. Bring me the book, and we'll see if it has the recipe we need. <laughs> ancient Spirits might not actually mean... What the tavern keeper thinks it, it get is. plenty of requests they don't understand. Our job isn't to ask questions. We're here to listen and help customers relax and forget their problems. Though, uh, maybe that's different for this patron. Strong drink fogs the mind, right? Makes some pains less sharp. But doesn't her mind seem clouded already? Maybe even stormy? I think she wants a drink that will provide her with some clarity. Okay, it's it it's actually book about drinks. Put the dragonstone wall, brandy to chickers. Says it's says it's dream. Ancient journal journal found within alien ruins. For our Lord of Faith. Lost the time. The exploding body. I, do, I don't own Elder Scrolls cookbook, but I have heard that, that it's actually filled with okay recipes. Which you can actually do with, with modern, modern day. Uh, cuisine uh, ingredients. But 
then again, not many many people want to have a actual medieval cuisine, but it, because it's it's terribly out of date. <laughs> they, it's, uh, people people eat differently in every century. But what the people eat and what ingredients they have, they they are changing a lot. So let's make a... Okay, here's, here's the recipe. He's probably she going to moved put me running around. I tried talking to her, but she only muttered quietly to herself. I'd almost feel bad for her if I wasn't losing sales. Oh, did you find that book on obscure drinks? An alien drink? Odd. This inn was built on alien ruins. Just a coincidence. Tyrum weed, hark fruit juice, loot berries. I've never even heard of these ingredients. I can mimic that flavor profile, though. Just need some substitutions. I need to think about it. Uh, maybe some frost milium. Oh, some lotus might work. In the meantime, I need to make some syrup. Go to the cellar and grab some sugar. I'll keep thinking about this until you get back. Reproducing a sage's dream sounds like a fun challenge. It'll certainly take my mind off of what's happening to my inn. You'll find stairs to the cellar in the room behind you. It opens up into an old ruin, but don't mind that. Don't mind that. <laughs> Never. I've learned about drinks from across Tamriel. And none of these ingredients sound familiar. But that won't stop me. Maybe we can bring this drink back into popularity. <laughs> Maybe not. Oh, sure. You'll find these old ruins all across Colovia. The first owner built the inn on top of some. Whoever dug out the cellar broke through into ruins and just left it that way. I use it for storage now. Yeah, when, when when people found old ruins, what they do with it? Use use it as, as a storage. Search for sugar. Hatred thick and sour. Perhaps I can call it to us. Horrid relic rose from the ground. I need to talk. It's a lamp. When you left, I was compelled to follow. I saw an image of you entering this chamber, and I knew I had to be here with you. But then this awful lamp appeared, rudely popping out of nowhere. I hate the damned thing! The storm in my head. Remember? I cannot focus through all the overlapping paths. I think this damned lamp was used against me, but I cannot understand how. Could you pick it up? I wish to examine it, but could not stand holding the horrid thing. Lamp of clarity. Over here. I sense a path that wishes to be explored. Shine the lamp, please. To the many paths. Step through and I will follow. This is epic level drink making. My power abandons me here. I will follow if I can. Okay. Interesting. The enemy approaches. They come to imprison my prince. No, Torvasad. They are different. Approach, Pathwalker, and speak with me. I recognize this place. 
A mortal park walker. Such a creature is quite rare. And I see you are accompanied by one of my reflections. An Athelia from a different path. You carry something else with you. It feels like... Hatred. Tell me. Why have you come to my reality? So this is sidewise stepping. Vivek was right. <laughs> the lamp of clarity. A relic created to hunt me and my unseen. It carries a spark what of its with the lip-sync? That gives it a bit of awareness. It must know that your Ethelia poses a threat. But why lead you Azura. Ah. Sage's dream is the Let's see if the lip sync is bug. Mortal park walker. Okay. The lamp of clarity. A relic. Okay, so so it was bugged. Ah. Sage's dream is the mortal name for our connection to the many paths. It manifests as a drink, but is brewed from ingredients infused with my very own essence. Drinking it will reconnect my reflection to the many paths and stabilize her power. They bloom in my shadow, or in the shadows of other Athelias. Each path's ingredient is unique. You can find Tyramweed here, but the rest grows in other realities. Take what you need, Pathwalker. Then you must leave before my fellow princes arrive. Okay. This is my end, Pathwalker. Hermaeus Mora has declared me a threat to reality and comes to imprison me. I am tired of fighting. It is the same on every path I have examined. If this is my fate, so be it. So basically... Take my Tyramweed and go with my blessing. Cosmically... Cosmically... There's like a deterministic. So there's not... Not a infinite versions of things, but very clear story that the data must 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 continue to play the play their parts basically. How strange! A mortal who walks the many paths without understanding them. Between that, keeping company with my reflection and bearing the lamp of clarity, you intrigue me. Not in any way your mortal mind would understand. I do not wish to drive you mad. An analogy, perhaps. Picture a diamond that somehow formed around a spider web, interweaving lines within a grander, fixed shape. That is the many paths. Possibilities scatter across the abyss. Each defined by distinct choices, with unique outcomes that lead to new realities. The many paths are the web that binds them. Some can traverse these connections, as you have done here. Control? No. But I have the power to see them, to follow their threads and alter their fates. It is one of the things that Hermaeus Mora respects about me. And the one thing he fears the most. Yeah, and that's why the Azura is with this, because she wanted to be like the weaver of the fates. The mortal mind is limited. Intentionally so. Comprehending the many paths should overwhelm you. And actually traversing them should be impossible. I can barely do that. You are unique among your kind. Thus the title I give you. Pathwalker. Mortals are servants performing tasks to maintain reality. Every field plowed, child born or war fought, keeps the orbis stable by design. This fact is kept from them. The slaves should not understand the master's plan, lest they seek to undo them. So, mortals reinforce the reality. 
Each reality bound by the many paths contains a version of an entity, mortal, or Daedra. They each differ in some way, but each springs from the same seed. I am no different. She and I are the same, but distorted, like an image in a cracked mirror. Most mortals quake in fear at my presence, or demand one boon or another. But all you seek is knowledge. <laughs> Interesting. I suppose so. If she's lost control of her power, then she needs someone to stabilize her. It seems she chose you for this task. The more information you have, then, the better. Once Hermaeus Mora chose my fate, he recruited other Daedric princes to aid in my capture. Azura answered his call by creating the Lamp of Clarity. Yep. Its light exposes my location on a path. Or, as you have seen, reveals doorways to the many paths. I am as curious as you. Perhaps it does not aid you, but only appears to. Azura's essence may have a purpose of its own, and you are only along to see that purpose fulfilled. I hope you find your answer as you continue your journey. Funny thing is that we haven't really met Azura in Elder Scrolls Online. She's mentioned a lot in many, many cases, but never met. The many paths connect We even met Boethia and Mephala. This bond can weaken over time, causing distress to an Athelia. We developed a means to reintegrate called Sage's Dream. It manifests as a drink to consume, but this is only an illusion. The ingredients grow in an Athelia's shadow. They form from our essence. We each produce only one ingredient. Mixing these ingredients melds the essences from many Athelias. When imbibed, we take in the power of our reflections. So basically a bit bit same thing than with the shadow magic. When she drinks Sage's dream. She takes in the combined essences of her reflections. She gains their understanding of her power. Your Athelia will reconnect to the many paths and regain control of her power. An extended separation from the many paths, perhaps. Oh. Yes, I see it now. Your Athelia already suffered Mora's punishment. Her power was stripped from her when she was locked away. She means to calm the storm as her power seeks to return to her. Most mortals quake in fear. The Prince of Fate foresees a cataclysm approaching. I used my ability to manipulate the many paths to prevent one disaster. But now Mora sees my efforts as the predecessor to something even more terrible. He feels he must imprison me. And I agree. Why would you agree to be imprisoned? Do not fear, mortal. I have a plan. My scions will one day set me free. Uh. After I have had sufficient time to figure out how to avert the disaster Mora predicts. Interesting. Here, collect the ingredients and let us go back, mortal. Take it with my blessing. Can we read anything? Invocation of Heresy. <laughs> Green backed song. Use the lamp, mortal. So much of the path we just walked was familiar to me. The shrine, my scions. I remember it now. When Hermaeus Mora and the others arrived, took my power, locked me away. I had a plan as well, but I do not remember just surrendering like that. I. I 
sent Torvasard and the other Scions away. They had to remain hidden, free to act when the time was right. The rest is still unclear. We learned much on that path about the Lamp of Clarity in Sage's Dream. Ingredients to create the drink grow in the shadow of all Ethelias. The drink blends our essences, connecting us. Each path grows a different ingredient. That must be why I crave one. I need to reconnect with the other Ethelias to reclaim my power. As am I. Hopefully we learn more as we travel. The last path was clarifying, but I still feel overwhelmed. I am no more in control of myself than I was before. Let us proceed, mortal. Step through. We are not welcome here. Sharp. Sharp. Sharp born water priest. Oh, the Argonian came, came in with us. That's, that's Telvanni sofa. I suppose it works for Daedric Dre Prince as well. Okay. But there's, there's pretty normal books here. This would have been like a chance to make really weird books stand out here. Okay, do we need to have Laura's forces finally come? Then I am finished. Okay, she's beaten. No. You do not belong here. But a reflection of the Prince of Paths travels with you. Have you come to revel at my defeat? To watch Hermaeus Mora imprison me? How? Shameful that I attract a mocking audience. Yet, of course, she lost control of her powers. All Athelias are fragile creatures. They break under the slightest pressure. Just like glass. 
How did you get here? If my reflection cannot control her power, how did you walk the many paths? My shardborn should gut you. Whether you intend it or not, this humiliates me even more. An item of my ruin borne by a reflection who walks free. If it will get you to leave, I have heart fruit, one of the ingredients for Sage's dream. Take it and go. Azura's lamp is not a friend to Athelia, Pathwalker. All the relics work to subdue us. If it helps make a Sage's dream, it is not to empower my reflection. No matter. My fate here is sealed, so what do I care? Take your heart fruit and leave me. Accepted. All that I am will soon vanish from reality. How could I possibly be comfortable with annihilation? No. I feel dread. Resentment. Anger. And totally ashamed by my obvious weakness. Interesting, so... The multiverse is actually offering different versions of the same char person, dead experience in this case, but it's like it's setting them to the same situation. When word arrived of Hermaeus Mora's plan for me, I crumbled. My followers are loyal, but they couldn't face down the combined might of the other princes. What resistance we presented was quickly crushed. Another testament to my weakness. Mora's army has surrounded the shrine and will soon pour in. I will have no choice but to let them imprison me. My followers may be locked away as well. Or scattered across oblivion. It does not matter anymore. Let them come. Resigned to her fate. Quite different from the other. Let us get the ingredient and go. I think that this uh, DLC is actually telling a lot of the Elder uh, deep questions that many people have wanted to know about Elder Scrolls for a longest time. I saw how to open a doorway. Let us return to the inn cellar. Okay, now she can open portals. I sense this is the last path calling to me. Use the lamp here, mortal. Like before, this path stirred up memories. I experienced the same dread before Hermaeus Mora's forces arrived. But I did not collapse like a coward. I commanded my Shardborn to resist, and they obeyed. The struggle, I recall, was epic. I remember the armies of the other princes pounding on the doors to my shrine. My loyal Shardborn readying their weapons. The sounds of unrelenting battle. I recall the princes standing in judgment over me. Then, blackness. She is correct. I should not trust Azura's lamp. But it led us to two ingredients needed for a sage's dream. And now we have tiramweed and hark fruit. One more and we can make the drink. And then I can regain control of my powers. Step into the many paths once again, Mortal. Unbridled anger fills these halls. We have entered a war zone. Find the last ingredient, but be careful. Dark Reeve, Rune Master. Dark Reeve. in this path is extremely fragile. It might shatter. Hurry! 
Uh, okay, so in this reality, she went down fighting. I remember this as a place filled with light and joy. This is not that place. Shatter stop shard. Okay, head of Mora's consumes this shrine. His response to the savagery of Athelia's defense. Yeah, I kind of guessed because tentacles. Oh no, you must not bring that reflection any closer. Speak with me and I shall explain. Your Athelia, does she not sense it? The Athelia of this path, my prince, has lost herself. She has become the monster that Hermaeus Mora foresaw. If she cannot regain control, this reality is finished. Why does a mortal walk beside an Athelia? Then I hope you succeed where I have failed. I tried to get my prince to calm down, but she lashed out at Mora's forces with her full fury. The more she fought, the more lost she became. Perhaps there is still a chance for you. How can I help? Why would... Oh, I understand. Azura's lamp wants to preserve okay. your reality. By helping your Athelia regain control, she can be safely imprisoned again. The ingredient you need is close by. Loot berries. Hurry and take them before it is too late. Flee while you can, mortal. Oh, no. Save your own life. Just spare a thought for this doomed path if you survive. I suspect we will not last much longer. I suggest you take the loot berries and run. Good luck. That doesn't look good. Ethelia is the fate changer, the unweaver. She has power unlike any other Daedric prince. The power to shift existence itself. Mora long suspected that Ethelia was dangerous, but full of uncontrollable rage. Reality itself unravels around her. Nice boss. The unimaginable. Can you contemplate what happens when reality shreds like parchment beneath a saber cat's claws? Nothing remains when existence ceases to be. Uh, God, God hit a bacon. Okay. Before my reflection destroys it. about the sage's dream did you get lost down here yeah that happens to me sometimes that's too. only one room that woman is back upstairs sitting by the fire so i came looking for you i think i figured out how to make a sage's dream even if we don't have the proper ingredients no need to improvise what you do 
Well, that makes things easier. <laughs> I'm not sure where you got ingredients that no longer exist, but the good innkeeper knows when not to ask questions. Can you help me make the drink? I'll read from the recipe book while you do the rest. I turned my alchemy stove into the finest experimental drink maker in Tamriel. You can be the first to try it. For each ingredient, we'll need to get the temperature just right. I'll call out for more or less heat. You turn the appropriate valve. First, place the tirum weed in the apparatus. Slowly apply heat to steep the tirum weed. Needs more heat. That looks nicely steeped. Next, place the hawk fruit in the apparatus. Apply heat to liquefy the hawk fruit. Again, not too hot. Pretty, pretty much distillation here. It needs to be hotter. You'll burn the fruit, reduce the heat. Wow, the hawk fruit looks properly reduced. Now add loot berries to the apparatus. You should chill the loot berries without freezing them. It needs to be cooler. It's getting too cold. Don't freeze them. It's perfectly chilled. Now to blend the drink. Two parts steeped turum weed and hot fruit juice for every one part of chilled loot berries. Just the right amount of hawk fruit juice. No need for more. That's the perfect amount of tirum weed. Don't add any more. Looks like a perfectly blended sage's dream. So pour the finished drink into. Now grab the drink and take it to that strange woman. I'll meet you upstairs. Random clicking around. <laughs> no, no skill. Give the sage stream to Italia. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Sage's dream. Do you have it? We walked the many paths together and learned much, mortal. Yet I still cannot control my power or clear the storm from my mind. Every path collides in this place. If you have a sage's dream, please place it on the table. I wish to calm the chaos. abates and I can clearly see the many paths. I can discern one reality from the next and my mind is clear. 
I am myself again. I am Athelia, Prince of Pards and Mistress of the Untraveled Road. I shall set things right. The echoes I dragged from disparate paths are free to return to their own realms, and allow me to untangle the threads of fate and restore balance to this reality. I thank you, Pathwalker. And I am jealous of you. We learned that every Athelia is dangerous, a broken creature that ends up hunted. We cannot change who we are. But mortals, you choose your paths. You don't need the powers of a Daedric prince to alter your fate. I envy this. Hm. Goodbye, Pathwalker. This is actually mirroring what we already knew from the, from the deep lore. And there she goes. You did it! Oh, that strange woman has left and taken the shadows with her. Ah, time to start running a regular inn again. Hmm, maybe I'll add this sage's dream to the menu. Uh, provided I can get some more of those ingredients. Probably not. Ah, the people are gone. I just had a good conversation with one. She didn't say much, but that's fine. Bring, <laughs> Bring them back. Uh -huh. Time to get back to work. Can't blame my lack of progress on feeling scared anymore. <laughs> Thanks for clearing that up, I guess. <laughs> so he was just having a break. Oh, yeah. Well, all the weird stuff is gone. I guess this means customers will come back, so it'll get noisy again. I suppose I could put wax in my ears. I certainly don't want to find some place else to work. Yeah, Col Colombian houses are Funny. Sh shape is a bit, bit funny, but yeah. I suppose they have used this same house in uh, several locations in this expansion. The pain is gone, and the threads of fate have untangled. What happened in there, Proxy? I sense the knot in the threads of fate has untangled, Proxy. This threat to our reality has passed. Should I assume you are responsible? Tell me what occurred within the Outcast Inn. If helping Athelia saved reality, then you made the right choice. But the Lamp of Clarity is a powerful relic. I am glad you found it. I would like to take the Lamp to Baragon's townhouse for further study. May I have it? I predicted that the tangled threads of fate were related to Athelia's release. But how could I know she was the direct cause? You have served the one who knows very well in this effort. Here is the reward I promised. And of course my <laughs> inventory is full. Probably shouldn't pick up so many items. Or actually em empty them sometimes. Let's use that. Hermaeus Mora. I predicted that I must contact Hermaeus Mora and inform him that Athelia has regained at least some of her power. Do not take this as a slight against you. Helping her saved many lives. It was the correct thing to do. Take it to Skingrad for study. Azura's lamp was designed to hunt down Athelia and her minions. Knowing how best to utilize it must be my next priority. Please find me there when you are able. The Chosen of Fate still has much to do. <laughs> <laughs> 